Well, hello, it is Mark and Christy. And we wanted to have a chat to you about something very serious and very significant. And we're aware that <clears throat> the weather has really heated up, at least here in Texas and many other parts of America. And with hot weather comes something that we all love, and that is going in the water, uh, swimming in pools, uh, going to the beach, um, and having fun and relaxing and splashing. Well, Christy wrote a post that I put on my wall earlier, and I wanted to get her to just talk a little bit about the post, uh, what it was about, um, and then ask her who she wrote it to and, and what happened with that person, because something pretty extraordinary happened. So tell us about the, the post and what you wrote. Uh, so I just woke up this morning and felt like <clears throat> I felt like God was telling me to write to a friend of mine, an old friend of mine, um, and just kind of talk about um, water safety with her. She has a a young child, um, and I just God put that child on my heart, and so I uh, wrote to her. And then I realized that what I was writing, I should be sharing with everyone else so I put it on my wall and what did it say what was in the content it was just talking about um, <clears throat> that uh, you know drowning is the number one cause of death in one to four year olds of accidental death and um, it's also the number two cause of death in four to fourteen year olds by the way but um, uh, and the, just the statistics about it, that uh, it takes less than 30 seconds for a child that young to drown. Um, and if you learn life-saving water, uh, water safety skills, then um, it reduces your chance of drowning by 88%. So what she's talking about is, in America, um, the CDC, the Center for Disease Control, does surveys on what causes death. Uh, and in one of four-year-olds, the number one cause of death outside of birth defects is drowning. Um, now, I don't know if you knew that. I certainly didn't know that. Uh, and, and what Christy was just saying is, in five to 18-year-olds, it's number two, although it involves alcohol, um, more so in the older ages. But this is a really significant and serious issue. And people don't realize how easy it is for a young child to drown. It is incredibly easy. They have very small lungs. Uh, it just takes a couple of gulps of water uh, and then uh, they're really in um, serious trouble. Uh, and what happens is, is the water goes into their lungs uh, and it cuts off the oxygen from their brain. And so there's actually <clears throat> literally nothing you can do. And it can all happen in a matter of minutes. I think we're still connected. Okay, so what I, want, what I want to tell you is a couple of things very quickly. The first is, what happened after you sent the email to your, your old friend? So she sent me a reply <clears throat> stating that she had been following us and that she knew Drew's story and that she had been taking precautions with her child and um, that she had had yesterday had gone, they were planning to go to a pool and um, she had based the where they went based on what was the safest pool they could go to. And she, uh, she said that she had had a bad feeling about uh, the day and just felt like something bad was going to happen. And so she took extra precautions with her child because she wasn't sure what it was or who it was going to happen to. Um, then when she got home, she found out that their... Um, their pool. Well, they're in an apartment. They're in an apartment. Yeah, so, so this is important. Pool, yeah. um, there was a two or two to three year old. I think she said two to three year old. Might have been one to two year old. Had drowned and was in the hospital. So how many? And this is. Uh, we won't say where, but it's in Texas, not not which town, just to cr protect the anonymity. But how many drownings have there been in Texas alone? Well, that makes <clears throat> that would make. 48 that I know of in, in 2017. In 2017, 48 child one drownings. to four year old child drownings already. And so as the, we feel this heat, we're outside at a restaurant right now and it's got to be 78, 
80, 80 something. something right now. If you are someone who has children or grandchildren um, and you are someone who goes to the pool, I want you to listen to this. As a father and a mother who have had a three-year-old drown, and we were there at the pool, and we, the, our son Judah had drowning training, uh, had swimming training. In fact, he'd done anti-drowning training. Christy and I had done work with him. He still drowned. Water is incredibly dangerous. It is incredibly dangerous. We talk about car seat safety. We all know about the importance of strapping a child in a car seat in a proper car seat in a restrainer but what we don't know and what we don't talk about is water water is incredibly dangerous and not just because of what Christy and I went through in September when our Judah drowned but 47 did you say 48 48 children already <clears throat> have drowned and we're not even that far into summer there is a lot of weekends and a lot of pool sessions so listen to me <clears throat> take water seriously take the danger of water seriously don't take your eyes off a child when they're in water or around water they can slip away and if they fall in it can take less than a minute it happens incredibly quickly and it is happening too much there should not be one drowning and there is too much too many drowning so if you have a child a young child or any child because it happens to as I said number two cause of death up to 18 years old 5 to 18 is drowning if you have a child take this seriously have you got your child to do survival swimming and water safety training have you ever been in a situation where you thought you'd just let them play in the water while you caught a bit of sun. Don't do that. Can I say something? Sure. Survival swimming. <clears throat> Survival swimming lessons isn't the same thing as regular swimming lessons. You need to make sure that the place that you take your children actually does survival swim lessons. And that means it needs to include teaching your child to get, in, to get on their back and float so that they can breathe while they're waiting for help. Teaching your child to hold their breath when they're underwater, teaching your child to look and reach for the side of the pool. If they're not teaching your child those things, not only in swimsuits, but also in, in their regular clothes, because regular clothes are heavy and they will weigh you down when they get wet, and most of the accidents happen in regular clothes. If they're not teaching that, you need to go find somewhere that is. So what we want you to do is, we want you to enjoy water. Our kids still play in the pool. We took them just the other day. We're not saying no to pools, but we're saying that they are dangerous and they need to be treated as somewhere dangerous. We have an illusion of safety because it's a fun place, because we often relax, we barbecue, we drink, we have uh, laughter, we play. All of those things create an environment that we think is safe and it's an illusion water is incredibly dangerous for young children and for children so I want you to do something <clears throat> if you need resources if you want to learn more about this I encourage you to go to judahbrownproject.org judahbrownproject.org that is the charity that we have created and our dear friend Annette runs that is designed a hundred percent to stop drowning accidents if you need help if you want to learn more about how you can protect your children go to judahbrownproject.org and the last thing is please share this video share this video so that others can hear this message in fact i have one more last thing then maybe christy's got something to say <laughs> so we just told you a two a young child drowned and Christy learn about it today I want to encourage you to pray that child is battling uh, in some hospital and I know some of what those parents are going through right now so please pray for them uh, and I just want to 
really reinforce to um, to give your children the layers of safety that they need. No child is drown proof, and you'll never drown proof your child, but you can make them safer around the water. So you give them those survival swim lessons. They're worth the money. Give it to them. <clears throat> um, if you can't afford it, then go to Judah to Brown Project, and we've got scholarships. Yep. We will find the money and help you. We have um, put gates around the pools. Doesn't matter how ugly they are, because they'll save beautiful lives. Put. Um, make sure you're never without, never outside of an arm's reach of children in the water, especially children who can't swim. Um, Always have someone watching the kids. Have a water watcher so that they watch the children for 15 minutes um, and do nothing else but watch the children while the other adults um, talk. And then switch adults so that another adult's doing it for 15 minutes and just always watching the children. Always have eyes on the children around the water. So pray for this poor child and these parents and for the parents of the 48 children this year alone who have drowned and all those who have experienced a tragedy they never expected, never thought would happen, ever. This is a real and serious problem. Please take water safety seriously around your children. It is a killer. 48 children have drowned already, already in Texas alone this year. Across America it would be many, many more. And Make when, sure that your child is not the next one. And once they, once they have drowned, it's high chance that they will die. It's a high, high chance that they will die. It only takes two minutes without oxygen to the brain for brain damage to occur. It takes five minutes for severe brain damage to occur. And after that is death. And I, let me tell you, the EM, we called 911 as soon as we found Judah, and the EMS took nine minutes to get there. Which is fast. Which is fast, but not fast enough for this. Well, even if they'd been there in three minutes, it wouldn't have mattered. It wouldn't. <laughs> so just know that it's not like the TV where you give CPR and all of a sudden they splutter and everything's okay again. It's not like that. It doesn't happen like that. Most children who drown die. And I would tell you that um, I gave CPR to Judah and a dear friend, friend helped me with that but for a, a good while I was doing CPR on Judah uh, poolside and I what Christy just said is what I thought I was waiting for him to splutter and to spit it out of his mouth and it didn't happen and it can happen to any parent any parent so I want you to take this seriously share this video so that others can watch this please go and check out judahbrownproject.org if you need resources or help. We will help you. We will do all we can. Annette will do all she can to help you. And pray for the families of those who have lost children to drowning. God bless you.